Hey, Brother Andre. Good afternoon, Sister Kim. Yes. We have come into this house. Hey, Brother Derek. Gather in his name and worship him. Reverend Brown, I see you, Brother Silas. We have come into this house. Miss Ethel, gather in his name and worship him. Good afternoon, Leanne, Sister Felicia, Sister Kim. We have come into this house. Minister Shaw, gather in his name and worship Christ our Lord. Good afternoon, daughter Janet. Worship him, sister Donna. Christ our Lord. Miss Laverne, brother Donnie Fitzgerald. Good afternoon, brother Ty. We have come into this house Charmaine, Charmaine, together in his name and worship him. Good afternoon, Sister Ronnie. Happy New Year. We have come into this house, Sister Regina, to worship in his name. Worship him, Sister Gertrude, Miss Marilyn, Sister Sharon. We have come into this house together in his name, Sister Melissa, and worship Christ our Lord. Brother Horace, worship him. My friend, Sister Shelley, Christ the Lord. Sister Robinette. Amen. Miss Fitzgerald, Sister Fitzgerald. So forget about yourself, Sister Donna. Concentrate on him and worship him. Brother Frank Brooks, good to have you in the house. Sister Rose, come on, y'all. Let's forget about ourselves. Concentrate on him. And worship him. Good afternoon, Sister Bernadine, Reverend Mills. Let's forget about ourselves. Concentrate on him. And worship Christ our Lord. Reverend Randy, worship him. Christ, our Lord, Brother Lonnie, good to see you in the house, Sister Loretta. Let us lift up holy hands, come on, help me, Reverend Hill, magnify his name and worship him. Come on, y'all. Let us lift up Holy hands, magnify his name and worship him. Good morning, Sister Serena. Good afternoon. Let us lift up holy hands, magnify his name and worship Christ. Our Lord, worship Him, Christ. Good afternoon, Sister Wanda. Our Lord, oh, hallelujah, yeah, worship Him, Christ. Our Lord, I need somebody to touch and agree this morning. Oh, we've come to worship.
worship Him. Christ our Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glad to be in the service one more time. Oh, I bless the Lord right now. I bless him. I'm shouting amen. Happy New Year to you. If we haven't already said it, Sister Brenda, good to see you in the house. Some of you all were with us on watch night, but if you weren't there, amen with us. We are here this morning to say Happy New Year to you. Happy, amen, 2022. Amen. And so I greet you again, my brothers and sisters. Grace be to you from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, we're going to start off, amen, this uh, service on today, amen, with just a little bit of prayer, amen, and then uh, after prayer, amen, we're just going to bless the Lord. Uh, if you don't have your communion, remember today is Communion Sunday, amen, and so need for you to go get your communion, amen, so that we can uh, have a, a, a good time in the name of the Lord. Come on, let's get ready to pray this morning. Amen. The Lord's blessings over all that we're doing. Yes, the conference line is open. Amen. And so for those who don't have Facebook, let them know that they can call in. We're live. Amen. I hear folks on the conference line right now. Amen. We are live this morning. Come on, let's pray. God, we just thank you on this morning. We bless you for allowing us to not only see another first Sunday, but God, we thank you for allowing us to see a brand new year. Lord, on this Sunday, a day that we've never seen before, on this year, another year that we've never seen before, God, we, amen, pray that you would give us an opportunity, another chance, God, to, amen, be the witness that you have called us to be, and the God, that we might come together, amen, at every opportunity to worship your name in spirit and in truth. God, you are our peace. Even in the midst of what's going on in the world, even in the midst of the storms that we encounter on a day-to-day -day basis, you are our peace. And so right now, Holy Ghost, we're asking that you might come in, that you might run from heart to heart, and that you might run from breast to breast. That you might touch each and every one of us at our respective places of worship this morning. That you might, Lord God, let us not be afraid or ashamed to shout out hallelujah or to call out to your holy and divine name. And the God that we might be reminded that this year, amen, another chance, God, more breath in our bodies, blood running in our veins, amen, to God, lift up the name of Jesus no matter where we go. Holy Spirit, now take control of this service. Do what you do best. Orchestrate, amen, so that your name might be glorified and man might be edified. We bless you on this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sister Pudding. Amen. Miss Faye. Yeah. Yeah. You are my peace. You are my peace. Miss Mickey. You are my peace. And I worship. Lord, I worship you. Woo. Peace. My peace, woo, peace, Sister Deborah, he's my peace, and if I just keep my mind, keep my mind stayed on him, he'll give me perfect peace, woo, perfect peace. You are my peace. You are my peace. Lord, you are my peace. And I worship you. Miss Merlin, come on. You are my peace. Can you agree with me this morning? God, you are my peace. You are my peace, and I worship you. Hallelujah. 
Woo, Lord, got to turn it loose. Got to turn it loose. Got to turn it loose. Thank you all. Amen. As we prayed this morning, thank you for joining us. Amen. First Sunday of the year, of this new year, our power service, communion Sunday. Amen. And we just welcome you into the place, no matter where you call home, we're all one body, one God, one faith, one baptism. And so we welcome you into the service today. Amen. Before we get started, y'all, you know what we got to do. Now, some of y'all didn't, wasn't there on watch night, so we didn't get to see your testimony. Amen. And some of y'all been quiet, amen, most of the year, so we ain't heard your testimony. But right now, we're going to take a pause for the call so that you might be able to write your testimony. I know you know that the Lord has been good to you. He's brought you from a mighty long way. Ain't he done that for us, y'all? Uh, Sister Davis, we've made it through another year. This is another first Sunday, amen, in a brand new year. And so we ought to just take a minute. We're going to break away from what I got written down, Sister Tanisha. We're going to put the printed program down for a minute. We're going to break away and take a pause for the cause. Help me, Holy Ghost. We're going to take a minute, amen, to bless the Lord and just name, amen, our blessings one by one. Let us let the Lord know that we appreciate what he has done for us. I, I, amen. I know, amen, some folks out there is like, ah, I don't know, Pastor. I don't, I, I'm, I'm kind of shy. And that's okay for you to be shy. But amen, I'm telling you something this morning. When the spirit of the Lord comes upon you, you just can't hold your peace. Come on, put it in the chat. What you're thankful for. God, it could have been the other way. Yes, yes, but I bless you. Come on, I wouldn't have made it out of 2021 without you. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Come on, y'all. We're going to start this Sunday off with a little bit of praise music. Come on, y'all. Put it in the chat. Brother Taino, bless your son. Come on, come on. Put it in the chat. Listen. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will dance like David danced. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will dance like David danced. I will dance. I will dance. I will dance like David dance. I will dance. I will dance. I will dance like David dance. Will dance. I will dance. I will dance like David dance. The spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart. I will pray like David prayed. Come on, y'all. Put it in the chat. Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart. I will pray like David prayed. I will pray. I will pray. I will pray like David prayed. I will pray. I will pray. I will pray like David prayed. Listen. I will pray. I will pray. I will pray like David prayed. Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart. I will sing like David sang. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will sing like David sang. I will sing, I will sing, I will sing like David sang. Yeah, I will sing, yes, I will sing, I will sing like David sang. Pray, I will pray, I will pray like David prayed. Pray, I will pray. I will pray like David prayed. Dance, dance. I will dance like David dance. Dance, I will dance. I will dance like David dance. Come on, y'all, somebody. Come on, put it in the chat. 
Come on, you go bless the Lord. All he's done for you. I will dance. I will dance. Woo! Dance. Yeah, yeah, yes. I will dance. I will dance. 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 I will dance. I will dance. I will dance. Dance. I will dance. I will dance. I will dance. Dance. Woo! Dance. Woo! Lord God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Go ahead. Continue to put him in there. Continue to put your blessings in. Amen. We bless you on this morning. Amen. Thank you for taking a pause for the calls. Amen. I want to just take a minute right now. If it's all right, just take a minute to just sing. Amen. I know for the uh, January birthdays, uh, we would, we would we'd sing happy birthday to you. Amen. I want to sing happy birthday to those January birthdays that are in the house. A uh, reminder, amen, uh, uh, the b- January birthday, but January the 1st was always, amen, birthday of our uh, dearly departed sister, um, uh, Amanda Lewis. And so we lift her up today on today and say happy heavenly birthday to her. Amen. January 1st was her birthday. A lot of people have birthdays in the month of January. Amen. And so if you are one of those folks, amen, we want to sing, amen, a blessing to you this morning. Come on, y'all, join in with me this morning as we bless the folks. Amen, Brother Horace. Amen. Sister Barbara's birthday. Amen. Come on, bless the Lord. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday to you. Amen. Amen. I see them popping up there. Amen. Uh, For all those folks. Uh, Amen. (laughs) Bless the Lord. Stevie Wonders. Happy birthday. I can't do that when I... Stevie Wonder's all, he, he's in a, in, a, in a realm all to himself, amen. LJ, I know his birthday, amen, is in January, amen. All those folks, Sister Lisa Hill, Tevin, amen. Y'all continue to put the names up there so that I can keep these folks in prayer, amen, as this month go. Brother Marlon, amen. <laughs> That's right, Marlon, amen. You, you would normally be getting ready to eat dinner uh, here at the house, amen, in celebration of your birthday. We're going to have to give you a plate. Amen. So we bless God for the birthdays. Did anybody get married during the month of January? Um, uh, some, a lot of people say they can't get married in January because they ain't got no money left from Christmas. But when you know the real reason for the season, you come into January, you can still have a few duckies in your pocket. Amen. And so is anybody on the line that got married during the month of January? Amen. I see. I see. All right. Put them on up there. Amen. Amen. Sister Mills, Deborah, and Trey. Amen. Uh, bless the Lord. The Newtons having their 15th anniversary. Lord have mercy. Time sure enough flies. Uh, good graces of life. 15th anniversary. I remember when y'all had just got married. I had just met y'all. Good gracious. And now here we are, 15 years gone. Oh, Lord, time is flying on by. So, amen. For those who got the anniversaries, amen. Come on, y'all join on. Here we go. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary, everybody. Happy anniversary to you. Miss Felicia, I'm thinking that that yes, Lord, is a good yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Because Brother Ty is a good man. Good man. Amen. You got to, you, he, he, he who found of a wife found of a good thing, and I'm glad he found you. Amen. And so you all, come on, let's, um, let's prepare our hearts and minds, amen, for prayer this morning. Um, you all know that prayer changes things. Um, this morning, I, I've got uh, uh, quite a few names on, on our prayer list, our personal list that we have all the time. 
Um, I continue to ask for prayer for my family um, all over the United States. I continue to ask you to pray for uh, Mother Catherine Brown, Mother Purvis, Mother Eva uh, Walker, Sister Christine Hall, uh, Mother Minor. Continue to pray for my friend Deacon Sam Parker. Amen. Um, continue to pray for Sister Woodard and Brother uh, Beasley. Um, got a prayer request to pray for the Smith and the Moore families. Amen. And there happen to be quite a few uh, people that I know um, who are dealing with COVID. Amen. The Richie family, those folks. I won't call out a lot of names because I didn't ask folks if it was okay to call names, but I'm just asking you all to keep uh, some folks lifted up in prayer. Amen. Because this uh, the new strain, this new variant ain't no joke. And uh, and and so it it, it uh, the numbers continue to rise, um, and so we want to make sure that we continue to uh, keep ourselves safe, and Amen that we do the right thing. Um, I see y'all putting it, uh, Amen your prayers in the chat. I mean I want to lift up my sister Janine, my baby sister, who's having surgery on Friday, Amen, and and. Um, you all might say, well, is, it, is it serious surgery or not? Well, anytime they put you to sleep, it's serious. And so all surgery, amen, is serious surgery. Anything, I've seen some, some of the simplest things, simplest surgeries go wrong and people not wake back up. Amen. Miss Mary Brown has tested uh, uh, positive for COVID. Amen. The Comfort family, we're going to pray for y'all. Sister Brenda, we're going to pray for y'all. Amen. We're going to go to the altar, y'all. We're going to kneel down this morning because we need to pray. Amen. Y'all continue to pray for, amen, for um, the family of Mother Maisie Brown. Hey, Vic, how you doing, man? Continue to pray. And hey, y'all pray for Brother Vic. Brother Vic, amen, is starting his, uh, amen, second leg of his life. He's a retiree now. I saw the paperwork, bro. Vic, God bless you, man. Thank you for your service. And I pray that your new, amen, wherever God leads you and moves you forward, amen, my son, that you will do even greater things that you have done thus far, amen. Didi's having eye surgery. Got to call Didi and pray with her, amen. So y'all continue to pray for uh, the Nottingham family. Y'all continue to pray for mother, um, family of Mother Maisie Brown, the mother, family of Mother Agnes Hill, uh, Brother Dwayne Coates, Brother Joe Williams. Um, um, y'all continue to pray, continue to pray, 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 put, put them in the chat. We're going to the, amen. We're going to the altar this morning, but go ahead and put it in the chat so that, amen, we can like touch and agree and pray together. Amen. Cause the God we serve can do anything but fail. I don't know about you, but I'm just trusting in him. I believe that God will, amen, continue to make ways out of no way. Even when, amen, things look rough, amen, uh, God is still doing that which man says that's impossible. The Ellis family, I see you. I see you. Amen. Um, so come on, y'all. I need you to come on and go with me to the altar. We are, we're going to kneel down together. Amen. God is still in the blessing business and he's still doing that which man says is impossible. Come on, come on. God, we thank you on this morning. We stretch our hands out as we kneel before you at the altar, asking God this morning that you might continue to show yourself mightily in the lives of your people. God, on this day, we're praying that, Lord, that for those who are on our list, our prayer list, and those who are on the list of our hearts, and those, God, who have put concerns, amen, in the chat, and those, God, that even have gone unspoken, that you might show up and show out. And that you might again, God, show us that where man's answers fail and where the doctor's charts run out of ink, that God, that you are God who can do anything but fail. God, we pray this morning that you might remind us to put our trust in you. That God, that the, 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 you who formed the world, earth and the world with just the words from your mouth. God is able to change our situation around if we would just trust and believe. We thank you, God, for being faithful over us, 2021. And our prayer is, God, that you might, Lord, rest, rule, and abide, that you might be with us each and every day as we make our way through 2022. For those who are having surgeries this week, God, 
touch the hands of the surgeon even now and steady their hands, steady their hearts so that they might do their best work. For those, God, who got to go to the doctor and got doctor's appointments, God, we pray even now that you would touch the heart of the doctor. And whereas society has doctors losing their minds and thinking of things on a financial basis, God, let your love show in the heart of your doctors and your nurses and that they might care more for the patient than they care for the money. God, we thank you today for all that you've done, God, for what you're doing even right now. And God, we bless you in advance what, for what is yet to be done. Open up the windows of heaven, God. Pour out a blessing so much so that we won't even be able to hold it in whatever form you deem it to be so. And God, we'll be smart enough, amen, while we're down here on the receiving end to not take any credit at all for your good works. But God, then when it's all said and done, that we'll praise you before all. And we'll give your name the glory, we'll give you the honor, and we'll give you the praise. Thank you, God, for all that you are to us. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Let the church say, Amen. And Amen. Amen. Bro, Sam, I hear you, man. I hear you. you. I can hear you, Doc. I hear you. And we're praying for you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God's making a way. He's making a way, bro, Sam. We're going to keep on holding on. Huh? To his hand. Hmm? Yes, 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 yes. Huh? And I'm still holding on. Said I'm holding on to God's mighty plan. I'm still holding on Cause I'm bound for the promised land Yeah, and I'll never, I'll never let go of his hand Right now, right now, right now, I'm still holding on. Do I have a witness this morning? Holding on to God's holy hand. I said, I said, I'm still, I'm holding on. I'm still in God's holy plan. Oh, I never, I never let go of His hand, His hand. No, 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 I'll never, I'll never let go. Oh, God's hand, Lord's hand, oh, my Jesus' hand, oh, I'll never, I'll never let go, oh, come on, y'all, his hand, his hand, his hand, oh, I'll never, I'll never let go of his hand. Amen. We're going to hold on and we're going to hold out because God is good. So listen, it's offering time. Amen. We're moving things along because it's also communion Sunday. Second uh, Corinthians 9, 7 is still true in this new year. We should give what we decided in our heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, because the God that we serve, somebody say the God that we serve. I say the God that we serve loves a what? A cheerful giver. And so, amen. We ain't going to give you a whole lot of time. You remember we did it last year. We ain't give you a whole lot of time for you to go ahead and be trying to get yourself together. You ought to already, what, Pastor? You ought to already have your offering in your hand. 
Let's take a minute to pray over that offering. God, we bless you right now for what, amen, for an opportunity to just bless you in our giving. Our prayer is, God, that you would bless those that gave and special prayer for those who wanted to give and had it not. Our prayer is, God, that even now, Father, that you might open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing so that they too might be able to give. Lord, we don't have a whole lot, but Lord, take what little bit we have. Bless it as you always have done. And Father God, multiply, do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ask or think with it so that it might be used for the further uplifting of your kingdom here on earth. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Come on, folks who, who know the Lord. Amen. Somebody say amen and amen. Bless the Lord of my soul. Come on, sing the doxology with me. Hey, Sister Erling, God bless you, my friend. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Bless the Lord of my soul. Amen. And so now, amen, I hope you got your communion with you. You ought to have it with you. Come on, we're going to prepare our hearts and minds. Uh, for communion this morning, your fruit of the vine, amen, your bread, amen, on this day. The Bible declares, amen, I, I read somewhere that, uh, that, uh, that on this first Sunday, amen, it's a special Sunday. And so I thank God for everybody who is able to eat and drink with us as one body in Christ. Paul wrote, y'all, to the church of Corinth, amen. He said these words, I received of the Lord that which was delivered unto me. Amen. That the Lord Jesus Christ, the same night he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. And after the same manner, he also took the cup. And when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye for as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Jesus said, this is uh, my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. And for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show forth the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, so forever, whosoever shall eat this bread, drink the cup of the Lord unworthily. Bible declares shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But here's what God, God knows us, y'all. And he always gives us a way out. Say, so let a man and woman examine themselves and then eat of that bread and drink of that cup so that we don't eat and drink damnation to ourselves, not discerning the Lord's body. Come on, we're going to take a minute right now. We're going to pray over the elements this morning. Amen. Ask God to bless that which we are about to, amen, receive in his name and that we might be reminded on this day, y'all, of what communion is all about. I thank God for, amen, the opportunity. And come on, let's get ready. Let's bow our heads, amen, so that we might bless the Lord, amen, in our communion this morning. Lord, we thank you this morning as we prepare one more time to eat and drink together. God, we pray that you would bless the bread that represents that body that was broken and bruised for our sin and iniquity. We pray now, God, that you would bless the fruit of the vine that represents your blood that was shed on Calvary's cross for remission of sin. And even as we prepare to partake of the bread and the wine, God, we pray that you would examine us on the inside. And Lord, if there be anything that be not of you that would cause us to be unworthy, we cast it aside and cast it out right now in the name and under the blood of Jesus, who is the Christ. We thank you, God, as we prepare one more time to do what thus saith the Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. The Bible declares, amen, as they did on that day, said they took the bread, they break it and blessed it, and they did eat. It says, likewise, they took the cup, 
after they had supped, they blessed it and they drank. Let us drink wine together on our knees. Let us drink wine together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. Bless the Lord of my soul. So come on, y'all. I need you to turn your Bibles now. Amen. We are going to the book of Acts. Amen. I need you to turn to Acts. We're looking at uh, our ver chapter 5. need you to slide your finger down to, amen, verse 17 when you get there. Acts 5, verse 17 is where we're going to go today. Acts 5, amen, 17. Amen. Fast readers, you're going to have to slow down. Slow readers, you're going to have to speed up because we're going to read all the way down to verse 29. And that's a lot to read. I know, but we can do it. Amen. Come on. We're going to read. We're going to be together on this first Sunday. Amen. Come on. Let's read together. It says, then the high priest rose up and all they that were with him. Amen. Which is a sect of the Sadducees and were filled with indignation. Lay their hands on the apostles and put them in the common prison. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, Go stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. And when they heard that, they entered into the temple early in the morning and taught. But the high priest came and they that were with him and called the council together and all the senate of the children of Israel and sent to the prison to have them bought. But when the officers came and found them not in the prison, they returned and told, saying, The prison truly found we shut with all safety, and the keepers standing without before the doors. But when we had opened, we found no man within. Now when the high priest and the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard these things, they doubted of them whereunto this would grow. Then came one and told them, saying, Behold, the men who ye put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Then went the captain with the officers and bought them without violence, for they feared the people lest they should be stoned. And when they had bought them, they set them before the council, and the high priest asked them, saying, Did we not straightly command you that you should not teach in this name? And behold, you have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man, Jesus, blood upon us. Then Peter and the other apostles answered together, y'all. They answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than man. We ought to obey God rather than man. Bless the Lord of my soul. Amen. Come on, let's pray this morning. Father, we thank you this morning for this opportunity to preach one more time. Pray, God, that you would look past this weak physical touch preaching spirit and make preaching easy in the house. God, Holy Spirit, we pray that you would give us all you got so that we can give all that's been given in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, my brothers and sisters, if you're listening to me this morning uh, and watching right now, it means that the good Lord has spared all of us to see the beginning of 2022. And I, I, I don't know, but I expect to see some Facebook shouting this morning because we're still here. And it's not because of anything we've done, but rather because of God's goodness, his grace, his mercy, and his love. But even more importantly, you and I must still have some work to do before it's time to be called home. Uh, as we walk into this new year, I pray that you took advantage and got the most out of last year. For it was truly a year of sifting and shifting, uh, of shaking and separating as the Lord worked to move us from our seat of complacency and comfortableness to a place of consensual concern. That maybe we've been doing things our way, been doing it man's way, and maybe not doing it, amen, in the master's will. And that we might have let our adherence to keeping tradition and ritual get in the way of our responsibility to testify and uphold righteousness. 
And so God has used this past year to try to reason with us that we need to seek him more through his word. Seek him more through study, through prayer, through fellowship, through serving. Amen. See him even more so as God the Father that loves us. God the Son that saves us and intercedes for us. And God the Holy Spirit that has sealed us and keeping us so that we are ready to face our soon to return King. Our father has pulled back the, sp the spiritual mass uh, that the church and many Christians have been hiding behind over the last year. Took us from the building where we did works that were in many times intended to just impress man and not give God no glory. And I know we don't like being real about our spiritual relationship because we don't we want folks to think we're all wrapped up, tied up and tangled up to the point that we're super Christians able to leap over devils in a single bound. Never fall down. Always tell the truth. Amen. Fight the good fight for truth, justice and the Jesus way. But in this new year, help me, Holy Ghost. Is there any kindred spirits that have crossed over with me in his spirits? Amen. This afternoon, who can be real like me, who can admit that? God has showed you your own self, amen, last year. And based on what he saw in his mirror, you got to admit you're still on the potter's wheel. Oh, come on, don't turn the volume down right now because it's the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth that makes us free. So can I get a witness this morning that when we were in the building, amen, you learned, amen, to put on a face for folk on Sunday for a few hours. Uh, you learned to paint a smile on your face on Sunday for a few hours. Uh, you learned to sing a song of victory, amen, for a few hours, uh, to preach and pray heaven down for a few hours, uh, but we found out without a building to show off oh, uh, over the last year, we discovered that really living for Jesus, amen, and seeking to do God's will and trying to be pleasing in the Lord's sight is harder than we had to admit, We, because outside the church walls, we found that we're still in the world, am I right about it? And the devil, amen, has not stopped trying to steal, kill, and destroy destroy us. Am I right about it? Uh, and even though you've attended virtual church service every Sunday in 2021 and praise every Sunday in 2021, worship, amen. Every time you looked up, amen, trouble was still there. Trials were still there. Tribulation was still there. And outside the comfort of the church walls, while undergoing a season of uncertainty and the unidentified, we've been forced to develop a closer relationship with our father and the majority of us have discovered that although it appears that since we walked the aisle and gave our life to Christ that we understand that the more we grow in him we've accounted more hell than we expected we fight fighting more demons than we ever knew existed we are facing more persecution than we could have ever anticipated and so every now and then in 2021 we find ourselves sitting alone in that place where nobody was watching amen nobody able to judge us, nobody listening, and tempted to ask the question, why me, Lord? Well, even now, on this first Sunday of a new year, too many Christians have bought baggage from last year into this new year that's keeping them from sleeping. Got them wondering, how much longer can I hold out? How much more of COVID can I stand? How much more financial issues can I endure? How much more before it's time to send notice to the Lord that you're going to make me lose my mind up in here, up in here? Can I remind, let's be reminded this morning, this Christian walk ain't no plaything. This spiritual war is real. Our enemy is real. And in this new year, y'all, ain't nothing new under the sun. He will not miss the opportunity to try to steal our joy every second, every minute, every hour in this upcoming year. And so and though we're in a new year, that's nothing new under the sun. Satan will continue to try to mimic God and use people, places, and circumstances to discourage us and make us feel ashamed of the gospel and try to make us knuckle under, under the weight of the cross and have us turn around, amen, by looking at our trouble in the wrong way and thinking, amen, that the, uh, if we'd still been out there in the world, if we'd have still been on the enemy's side, if we'd have known the number of double agents in the church, if we'd have known how many times God would let us feel the heat of the battle, amen, if we'd have known how many scars we were going to get, we would have stayed in the street. But on this first Sunday of this new year, we're reminded that the Bible tells us all these things must be, y'all. For everything, there's a season and a time and a purpose under the heaven. 
And I want you to understand something. Amen. Uh, there's a time for us to experience everything. How in the world can you know peace if you don't go through war sometime? But understand, with war comes a chance of being wounded. But because we are in Christ, help me, Holy Ghost, after the battle, we'll always, somebody say always, we'll always come out victorious. Remember, it was Christ himself who said, bless are they who are persecuted for righteousness sake. Bless are you when men revile and persecute you. Say all man of evil against you falsely for my sake rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven it lets us know this morning saints don't run from trouble but take pleasure in it that god don't just pick anybody to carry the cross and we ought to count ourselves worthy to bear the infirmities for jesus sake oh help me holy spirit on this morning and so on this first sunday the lord will remind us that the key to survival amen to become more than a conqueror more than an overcomer in him is that we choose this day and every day whom we shall serve because the times are too tumultuous to continue to mess around too messy to continue to play around or keep trying to please folks around us men and women trying to keep friends trying not to make enemies with man because even though my brothers and sisters we know it's not wise to choose the things of this world and put them before god we know we can't have our cake and eat it too because jesus said you can't love two masters but i'm telling y'all something we need to fully decide amen because folks have walked into this year even yet to fully decide do i follow the master or do i follow man Amen. Do I follow the master or do I follow man? That's the, that's the title for the sermon. I'm sorry I didn't tell y'all. So my friends, I don't know about you, but when I see the Lord, I want to hear him say, well done. And Jesus made it clear that the only way to get to hear him say, well done, is to do those things that matter to God the most. And that we ought to take heed to Matthew chapter 5, where Jesus makes it very clear. Amen. God's not concerned about the tricks that we do in the sanctuary for people to see. Not really concerned about the songs we sing for people to hear. Not concerned about how much money we put in the plate for people to count. Because if we're not following the two greatest commandments, which leads us to do what really counts as good works. Visit the sick, feed the hungry, go to the jails. Amen. We got to do the will of the Father. And so as we move into this new year, where God has shown us enough of him to make us understand that we got to continue to move out of the building, even when we're in the building with the gospel. We got to continue to stretch ourselves, amen, to draw even closer to him in this year. Amen. Even if doing the will of the Father gets us in trouble when we when trying to obey the whims of man. Got to understand this afternoon. This is the year of reckoning. Let me say it again. This is the year of reckoning where we take time to count the cost of discipleship. And then we make a calculated decision to esteem the father, make a calculated decision to consider our relationship on a daily basis, make a calculated decision to regard Jesus as not just our savior, but acknowledge him as our Lord reckoning y'all requires that once we have done the spiritual computation or whether or not we want to hear well done or not that we make a choice that we decide whom we're going to follow amen on a daily basis who we're going to focus on on a daily basis who we're going to be faithful to on a daily basis is it going to be the master or man there comes a time amen and that time is now while the world is going to hell in a handbasket, that God's people need to reckon, need to decide if they're going to let what others say dictate how we're going to serve the master or we're going to do what thus saith the Lord. There comes a time, my friend, and that time is now because Jesus has already declared that the only way he can declare us before the Father is that we declare him before man. And so we must be sure and very sure about whom we serve daily. Amen. Because 90 nine and a half won't do. We can't just be church building servers. Can't just be Sunday only servers. Can't just be when the spotlight is on us servers. But every day and every minute, folks ought to see the Jesus in us and God might get the glory. So let me go real quick in our lesson today. Bible says that they were doing miracles and wonders. Believers were all together. And the Bible clears out that the high priest and his companions were very upset. 
local party of the Sadducees became jealous, took action, put the, amen, the apostles, arrested them and put them in jail. But God always will open doors. Am I right about it? That night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison gates and led them out, told them, go stand in the temple, tell the people all about this new life. And the apostles obeyed. At dawn, they went into the temple, started preaching. When the high priest and all of them went to jail looking for them, they were in the church house. I could stop and preach right there because the enemy helped me, Holy Ghost, in 2021. Thought he had you in the jail house as the year was ending. He said, told his imps, go looking for you. Thought he had you in the jail house. Thought he had you in the innermost prison. Thought he had you locked in, amen, with other folks, amen, who had given up hope. But what he didn't know was that it's in the midnight hour. Help me, Holy Ghost spirit. It's just after midnight that our God shows up. It's just after midnight, amen, that a mega seismos, amen, enters in our life. It's just after midnight that an earthquake shows up and frees us from our chains. Break every train and set us free. And so a man came and told him, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, they're not there, amen. We saw them in the temple, amen. They're giving God the praise. Uh, <laughs> and they said, it went to him and said, didn't we tell you? Not to preach in this man's name. And you still going around spreading this all over Jerusalem. And I like what Peter and the other disciples answered together. And says we ought to obey man, God rather than man. Let us be encouraged y'all as members of the body of Christ. And soldiers in the army of the Lord. That though the world might come at us with words to discourage us. And weapons to harm us. And works to hinder us. Amen. Take into account this declaration of the uh, first members of the Christian church. Let us take confidence uh, to stand in the Lord and in the power of his might. Now the enemy might have us believe that we need to conform to keep everybody happy and remind us that as long as we deny the Holy Spirit's work of sanctification to transform us, amen, and follow the whims of man, it might seem like everything is going to be all right. Uh, while we entertain the mess of man, everything might seem to be all right. But the devil is a liar. Can I get a witness this morning? We got to choose in this new year to step away from those who continue to talk about folks. Choose to step away from those who feed off schism and separatism. Step away from those who would threaten us if we continue to go tell the world about that name that's above every name. Stay man, step away from those who would threaten to keep our testimony to ourselves. Threaten us to hold our people when it comes to telling the world about the goodness of Jesus uh, and all that he's done for us. Uh, and in this year of reckoning, where we're reminded that we've been saved from the power and the penalty of sin, and we got the freedom, y'all, uh, to no longer serve the enemy of this world. We got to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Uh, can I put a dime right there? Because it's not just those that show themselves, amen, to be outward enemies that we always got to be mindful for. For as soon as we decide to make Jesus our choice. Uh, I know I got a witness in the house that can testify that many of our friends and families will turn against us and do things and say things that hinder us from our work in the ministry. But we got to understand that's one of the wiles, one of the tricks that the enemy used to threaten us. Uh, that if we follow the mask, we risk uh, losing some people. We risk losing some stuff. And the reality for many Christians is uh, that the pressure of not having friends or uh, not having Having family stand behind sometimes is too much to bear. And rather than give up their time, talent, and treasure over to the Lord, a lot of times the decision is made, amen, to avoid the persecution of man and choose the whims of man over the will of the master. But I've come to tell somebody this afternoon that the reality of this life is that there's no man, no woman, no boy, no girl who got a heaven or a hell to put us in. So we don't and shouldn't have to worry about what folks got to say or worry about what they're going to do to us because the Bible says if God be for us, he's more than the whole world against us. And that's why the Lord is confirming and reaffirming in our lives every day that we're stronger in him. Uh, we're powerful in his might. Uh, we're greater in him. And so when we're threatened against providing our testimony on behalf of Jesus, who is the Christ, uh, we need to be reminded that when our enemy shows up, when Satan shows 
shows up, when the rulers of darkness shows up, amen, we find ourselves being used, uh, folks used against us in this sifting season. The word of God reminds us that the master has already made provisions for our victory. Can you shout about that? He's already prepared a procedure for our triumph. He's already primed the process to ensure our success. Uh, so in this year, as we reckon who the master is when compared to man, when we reckon the value of God's will when compared to the worthlessness of man's whims, we must choose whom we're going to serve daily. Is it the master or man? And if we stuck with the decision to continue to press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling, we got to be like the disciples. We're reminded like we were in Sunday school this morning that even if it means persecution of the world, choose the master. Even if it means facing adversity in these times that we live in, uh, choose the master. Even if it means we lose some naysayers along the way, uh, choose the master. Even if it means we got to stand true to our own declaration. Uh, amen. For God, I'll live and for God, I'll die. Choose the master. Oh, saints, in this last and evil day, uh, where the courts want to regulate our ministry, where the school systems want to regulate our ministry, where the government wants to regulate our ministry. We can no longer afford to remain babes in Christ uh, that jump at the roar of the lion. Uh, but we need to grow up and put on our big boy pants and our grown women dresses uh, and stop complaining about what the devil is doing to stop us or to hinder us and realize that greater is he that's in us uh, than he that's in the world. Uh, for when the church decides to stand up uh, and choose the master over man uh, and not fall under the tricks of the enemy, uh, we'll see the Holy Ghost show up. Uh, we'll see some yokes broken. Uh, we'll see some captives set free. Uh, when the church decides uh, to stand up and choose the master over man, uh, we'll see the spirit of the living God uh, bring us to a place of unity where God commands the blessing uh, and life forevermore. When the church decides uh, to stand up, y'all, uh, and choose master over man, uh, then the grace of God uh, and the love of Jesus uh, and the sweet communion uh, of the Holy Spirit uh, will rest, rule, and abide uh, now, henceforth, and forevermore. Or when the church uh, decides to stand up uh, and truly uh, choose a master over man, uh, then the Spirit of the Lord uh, will come upon us uh, and remind us uh, that he have anointed us to preach the gospel uh, to the poor. Uh, remind us uh, that he have sent us uh, to heal the brokenhearted. Uh, remind us uh, that we ought to go out and preach deliverance uh, to the captives. Uh, remind us uh, to recover sight to the blind. Uh, and when we preach, amen, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, we're able to set at liberty uh, them that are bruised, uh, and to proclaim, uh, in spite of what the enemy says, uh, to proclaim, uh, in spite of what the agitators say and what the news channel says, uh, amen, that the time of the Lord, his favor has come. Uh, as I bring the service to conclusion, uh, I'm reminded of an unselfish action uh, of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, when he was faced with death threats uh, and looked like his life might come to an end. Uh, the man of God decided uh, he rather stand up for righteousness and justice uh, that comes from following God, uh, the master. Uh, and he rather die than to give in and follow the immoral uh, and indecent whims of man uh, because of who he was uh, and whose he was. Uh, he refused to let die down uh, and let injustice uh, and evil and wrongdoing uh, continue to manifest itself in the world. Uh, and so I read uh, at that Mason Temple... Uh, in Memphis, Tennessee, uh, on April the 3rd, uh, the day before his assassination, uh, history records uh, that he was sitting there tired uh, from the day's activity. Uh, but when they called on him uh, to bring some encouragement to the crowd uh, and strengthen their resolve, uh, knowing the adversity they would face uh, in support of the striking sanitation workers, uh, that Martin stood up uh, and he made a stand uh, that even though he was tired, uh, somewhere, after this speech started, uh, he felt his help come on. Uh, he felt the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, and he began to speak the words 
uh, that will live on in infinity. Uh, he said, I got to Memphis. Uh, and some began to say uh, the threats. Uh, uh, talk about the threats uh, that were out. Uh, or what would happen to me uh, because of some of my sick white brothers. Uh, well, I don't know uh, what's going to happen now. Uh, we've got some difficult days ahead. Uh, but it doesn't matter to me now. Because I've been to the mountaintop. Uh, and I don't mind uh, like anybody. Uh, I love to live a long life. Uh, longevity has its place. Uh, but I'm not concerned about that now. Uh, I just want to do uh, God's will. Uh, I just want to do uh, God's will. Uh, and he's allowed me uh, to go up to the mountain. Uh, and I've looked over. Uh, and I've seen the promised land. Uh, might not get there with you. Uh, but I want you to know uh, that we as a people uh, will get to the promised land. Uh, and I'm happy tonight. Uh, I'm not worried about anything. Uh, I'm not fearing any man. Uh, I'm following the master. Uh, for my eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Uh, I don't know about you this afternoon, uh, but I'm praying uh, that this past year has taught us something about faith. Uh, not to set our eyes on that which is seen, uh, but to focus our eyes on that which is eternal uh, and imagine what God has in store for us. Uh, and if we would just imagine uh, what blessings and favor awaits uh, with those who trust in the Lord uh, and lean not to their own understanding. Uh, ask you to trust and imagine uh, what this year would be like uh, if all God's people uh, went through a period of reckoning uh, and made the decision uh, that I have the Decided, uh, to follow Jesus. Uh, no turning back. Uh, if we could just imagine uh, what stands on our side uh, when the enemy raises a standard against us. Uh, we too could have the boldness uh, to say I'm not fearing any man uh, and I'm not worried about what anybody could do to me. Uh, oh this year. Uh, let's take the attitude. Uh, let's take the mindset uh, that though we might be down and out. Uh, feel a little weak sometimes. Uh, somewhere between despair and disappointment. Uh, amen. We are reminded uh, that we serve a master uh, who has all power in his hands uh, and has declared that no matter where we walk uh, and where we stand, uh, even in the midst of the valley, he's there with us. Uh, he's there to hold us. Uh, he's there to keep us, y'all. Uh, he's there to protect us. Am I right about it? Uh, he's there to comfort us uh, and lead us to the table of overflow. Uh, and if we follow the will of God, uh, in this new year of our Lord 2022 uh, and not the whims of man uh, you and I when this year is over uh, can shout out to uh, that my eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord uh, he is trampling out the vintage uh, where the grapes of wrath are stored uh, he have loosed the faithful lightning uh, of his terrible with swift sword uh, his truth uh, is marching on uh, I have seen him in the watch fire, watch fires uh, of a hundred circling camps. Uh, they have built him an altar in the evening dews and damps. Uh, I have read his righteous sentence uh, by the dim and flaring lamps. Uh, his day uh, is marching on. Uh, he has sounded forth the trumpet uh, that shall never call retreat. Uh, he is sifting out the hearts uh, of all before his judgment seat. Uh, oh, be swift, my soul, to answer him. Uh, be jubilant, my feet. Uh, our God is marching on uh, in the beauty of the lilies Christ was born across the sea uh, with a glory in his bosom uh, that transfigures you and me uh, as he died to make us holy let us die to make all free uh, while God is marching on uh, glory hallelujah glory hallelujah glory hallelujah his true is marching on. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm going to follow the Master. Amen. Rather than follow the whims of man. I got to get out of here. Amen. I want to thank you all for joining us this first Sunday. I bless the Lord for all of you all. We're getting ready to go to the altar. I'm asking that you would go with me. Come on, I want you to come and kneel down beside me. If you made it through the year and you're yet holding on, 
come on and go and bow down with me. If you made it through the year and every now and then you took your hand off the plow, come on and bow down with me. If you made it through the year, but you've been serving man and you need to make the Lord your choice, come on and bow down with me as we close out in our first prayer, first Sunday of 2022. God, we thank you and we bless you for what our eyes have seen, our ears have heard. And God, we thank you for bringing us safely through another year, bringing us, God, to the year of 2022. And God, we thank you. And Lord God, in so many ways, if we had a thousand tongues, we could not thank you enough. But as we go forth, God, we ask that you, amen, might go with us, that your power might surround us, that you might hold us in the shelter of your, amen, mighty wings, and that you might make us bold witnesses before you, for you, before all men. God, continue to heal, continue to strengthen, continue to uplift, and continue to provide all our needs according to your riches and glory through Christ Jesus. And even on this first Sunday, remind us that no matter what the world throws at us, that the blood will never lose its power. God, bless those who are holding on. Bless those who might have failed, God. Thank you for getting them up. God, we pray a special prayer for those who know you're not in the pardon of sin. Have them come running, asking, what must I do to be saved? Don't let another year go out without them finding Jesus. God, we thank you on this day. We bless you for all that you've done. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. That now to him who is able to keep us from falling, present us faultless before his throne with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be both grace, majesty, dominion, and power, henceforth, now, and ever. Let the redeemed of the Lord, in Jesus' name, say amen. I got to go, y'all. Thank you, Brother Sam. I hear you, man. God bless you, man, for amen, for amen, being there with me this morning. Brother Sam uh, calling in. Thank you all for coming in and dialing in on Facebook Live. Amen. And all of those else who dialed in on the line this morning. Thank you. Hey, I love you. I got to go. Amen. I want to start the year off me messing up. I got to go. But I'll see you if it be the Lord's will next Sunday. I'm gonna get, I can tell you I'm going to go ahead and put the sermon out. Uh, the title out, amen, earlier this week. So go ahead and so you can look at it and you can read it and you can study it for yourself. I bless you. I love you on behalf of myself, my family, first lady, amen. Y'all go and be blessed in the name of the Lord. I love you. See you next Sunday. God bless.